What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video today, I will be sharing with you 10 steps how you can become a database administrator earning over six figures starting from no experience. Now, I want you to pay close attention and make notes on all the steps that I will be outlining. Now, once you follow these steps outlined in this video, rest assured, you'll be a six figure earner sooner or later. But before we get into all of this step, let's understand what a database administrator does. A database administrator is responsible for the databases in a particular company. They may be responsible for a single database, multiple or different types of databases. A DBA is usually involved in many areas of database administration. They monitor database to ensure that they are up and running smoothly and to ensure things like this space are not running out of capacity. They also implement various preventative tasks such as cleanup tasks and patching. Depending on the organization which you work for, from time to time, the DBA or the DBA team will assist with projects within the organization. So for example, if the company is bringing on a new application on board and it requires a database, then you as a database administrator may participate in the installation and configuration of that application. They also help to set up security and manage the overall security of the database. This means that a database administrator typically require a wide range of skills. Skills such as writing queries, designing database, monitoring and performance tuning, and securing databases. So how do you really become a database administrator? Well, we're going to be going right into the steps. So guys, for number one, I'll be working with the assumption that you already have like a bachelor's degree in information technology or computer science. Now later on in the steps, you will see how you can make the transition without a bachelor's degree in information technology. Now the first step is to decide on which technology you want to go with. You have various relational database technology like Microsoft, Oracle, Postgres, and MySQL and a bunch of others, right? So these are some of the core ones. So once you pick one of these skills and learn about it as much as possible, then once you are proficient in that database, then you can make the transition to other databases. So I do recommend that you start with SQL Server Administration because it is widely used by a lot of companies and you are already familiar with Windows. If you go with Oracle first, you will need to learn a little bit of Linux. It may seem intimidating at first, but hey, it will be like a piece of cake later. So once you learn Microsoft SQL Server, then you can make the transition to other database technologies. But at the beginning, you want to ensure that you specialize. So number two, learn SQL. So after you decide on which technology you're going to go with, then you can learn SQL for that technology. Now once you learn SQL, you can easily make the transition for writing SQL statement in almost any relational database. Now as a database administrator, you will not be required to write queries like our business intelligence analyst or a developer would. However, from time to time, you may need to write basic queries and you need to understand the structure of a query for you to be able to tune that query. So learning SQL is a great way to enhance your skill sets. The third thing you want to do is learn about database administration. Now database administration is completely different from SQL itself. Although you will need SQL to perform database administration tasks. So database administration pretty much covers like managing and security, monitoring and performance, installation and configuration, things like that. So those are separate topic from learning SQL. Number four, search for an entry level job like service desk analyst. Now the key here is that you want to get your foot in the company because it's easier to hire internally than externally, especially when you do not have any experience within a field. So step four is really the key for getting a database administrator role without any experience. So number five, start looking for junior database administrator roles or within your organization, start showing interest that you want to become a database administrator. So this is very crucial because now the manager of the IT department right can now start exposing you to database administrator stuff if possible or whenever the opportunity arise 
then you can get some training there. So it's good to start having that conversation with your managers, what your interests are and what you really want to do. The next step is to work on your certifications. Now, while you're working in that junior role, you need to start working on a certification for the discipline that you have selected. That would be like the SQL Server. Now for a SQL Server or Azure SQL Database, the certificate that you want to pursue is a DP300, Administering SQL Server Solutions, right? While the certification is geared toward administering databases in the cloud, it's essential that you learn how to manage database on premise because a lot of companies are not yet transitioned to cloud or are even using cloud technologies. So it will be great that you first familiarize yourself with administering SQL Server in the on-premise environment. So it would be great that you do a general SQL Server administration training before you pursue the DP300 certification. Now if you are looking for a course to start with, I have two excellent courses on Udemy, one for the DP300 and one for SQL Server training. Those are geared towards database administration. The link will be in the description of this video. In these courses, I've covered all the essential things that you need to know as a database administrator. Now in the beginning, here's why I do recommend a certification right because a certification will teach you things that you will not learn in a degree and it will teach you hands-on stuff now I do not want you to just go and take these courses just to pass an exam right I want you to be learn the practical things so just passing the exam for passing the exam sake and not knowing anything is not good so it's good that you not only focus on passing the exam but you learn the practical skills which takes me to the next step. The next step is to set up this environment and practice all the things that you learn from the courses, right? And whenever you are job hunting and you look at a job description and you see a skill that you do not have, you go and do the additional research, learn that skill and practice it within your test environment. This is essential because the more you learn, the better it is for you. And during this process, you are technically building up your experience without even realizing. The next step is to prepare for your interviews. This means that you need to be actively practicing interview questions, right? Anything you're not familiar with, you research and learn it. So whenever you're in that interview and the interviewer throws out a question, you already know the answer so you don't have to be panicking, right? And this will definitely boost your confidence and help you to learn the job. So now that you have some certification, you have some experience, now the next step is to search for that job that will pay you six figures. Now you may be lucky enough to get it in your first shot but it may take some time. So you have to keep trying at it and don't give up and be consistent with learning and developing your skills. A lot of people tend to ask how do they get a database administrator job or role without a bachelor's degree in information technology or computer science? Well, the key here is to get a certification in one of the databases that I mentioned, whether it be SQL Server or Oracle, right? The easiest way to make the transition is to be already in an organization and then you start to express your interest in becoming a database administrator. So here you already have the certification to back up your interest and then once the opportunity arrives, chances are you will be granted the opportunity. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.